everyone. Now, my next guest, I don't know how long ago I spoke to him. He has been a long time coming for coming on the show. Uh, his name is Eric Walbot, and welcome to the show. Thank you, Carol. Congratulations on your five-year anniversary. Thank you. I want you to tell everybody what you do because you are the Walbut Group, and, and just tell them what you do. We do real estate here in the Valley. We've been focusing on distressed properties certainly over the last few years. Uh, Twitter and Facebook handle is facebook.com slash foreclosure king for Twitter and Facebook. Our website is 945sold.com. We do a 30-day offer guarantee on all of our short sale listings. We've made a, a, quite a name in the foreclosure industry here in Arizona. Uh, we cover all cities around the Valley. We have a really strong team. Okay, now let me say some of these things about him because you have done an awful lot. Um, you're ahead of the market in spotting trends and in filling the needs of uh, the consumer. You're the number one realtor in AZ to do foreclosure. Let's talk a little bit about that. More, it wasn't the number one. I was the first realtor to do. Oh, the first. Okay, go ahead. Foreclosure bus tours. Bus tours. So let's Correct. talk about that. It was fun. I started a few years ago, uh, around 2007, noticing a trend and noticing a, a need that needed to be fulfilled. I started doing bus tours around the valley and advertising through networking sites and a little bit of radio, um, spotting that trend, getting people filling up a bus and going out and having fun. Um, through the bus tours, I got recognized. We got recognized on the Learning Channel on TLC. And ended up doing a, a television show for the Learning Channel. Now, there's a lot of people that might would. Do you still do these bus tours? Not really. Over the last year, we stopped. There, there have been so many foreclosures that we just do more specific, individualized tours for our clients. Certainly. Okay. So now the number to call them, guys. This is great. It is four eight zero nine four five sold. So it's real easy. Four eight zero nine four five S O L D or Four eight zero nine four five seven six five three. His website is easy. Also, it's nine four five sold dot com. Correct. All right. So, um, all right. So, there's so much going on in the market today, especially with foreclosures. How can you help the the people out there? Our our, our first and main mantra is helping people think and buy when it's on the buying side help people buy logically versus emotionally. It's a funny thing that happens in selling versus buying. In a, in a really, really, really strong seller's market, it doesn't necessarily take a lot to sell your home. But here we are in an amazing buying opportunity, an amazing buyer's market. But if I can pause on that buying market philosophy, our market presently is kind of a seller's market with buyer's pricing. If you're fortunate enough to get a property, you're gonna get great pricing which would be in a buyer's market, but it's very competitive. So we'll talk about the market as it exists presently. But in a, in a buyer's market, it is challenging sometimes to not let emotions get in the way. So what we do, and one of our strengths as a group, and one of my strengths, is to help people think and buy logically. So the logical way of buying is best location, most square footage, lowest price. Pretty simple. You don't want to get too mired in too many specific details or you'll start getting along the emotional buy and thus lose your opportunity to make that great buy. Now, you have a 30-day offer. It's a 30-day offer that's a guarantee on selling your short sale property. Getting an offer in 30 days, correct. So that's a guarantee. Correct. you got to call him. The number is area code 480-945-SOLD. That's 480-945-7653. Go on the website. It's 945sold.com. Now, you've also been interviewed by Money Magazine and various local news channels. Let's talk a little bit about that, too, and congratulations. Thank you. Just at, at different times over the last few years, because of the foreclosure notice, foreclosure presence on the Internet, if you type in, boy, Phoenix foreclosures, Scottsdale foreclosures, different high-profile subdivision foreclosures. We typically come up in spot one, two, three, or certainly in the top 10 all over the Internet. So that gained a lot of attention. And so I'd, my, uh, my company would field phone calls for what's going on in the market. Tell us what really is happening in the market. And uh, from the buying side to the selling side to just general foreclosure trends. 
All right. So now what we're going to do is uh, you want to get out some information. This is all about getting the information to the public. Now, um, you've got talk a little bit about what the market is today. Can a non-distressed property really compete against the distressed properties when it was selling? They can. It certainly can be challenging. Obviously, the most important thing is pricing. So a short sale or foreclosure, those are both certainly types of distressed properties. The price is going to always be the most important thing. So how the non-distressed, in other words, a property that has some equity, how they can compete against the lower price properties is to make it clean to make it sparkle from the outside to the inside. A lot of our buyers in the marketplace presently are coming from Canada. Canadians represent the largest out-of-state buyers in Arizona real estate. We have a lot of second home buyers. So a lot of these second home buyers coming from Canada, northern states, different places around the country, they're looking for clean. They're looking for turnkey. They don't have the resources and abilities to work on a property. So if they have to pay on a $150,000 property, if they have to pay $15,000 more, Their attitude is, so be it. They love it. So for a homeowner who can't compete with pricing, they have to differentiate themselves in the marketplace. They need to make sure their property is really clean and they can have success. All right, then his number is 480-945-SOLD, 480-945-7653. You can also go on the website, which is 945sold.com. Uh, he's also on Facebook at uh, uh, Foreclosure King. Correct. And also Twitter. You can do that, too, at Foreclosure King. Now, um, you know, you also talked about cash buyers earlier that were representing 50% of the market. Is it difficult, then, for them to uh, obtain financing? So, yes, cash buyers do represent a large portion of the buying um, of the closed transactions presently. There's really a large mis, mis, uh, conception about financing in the marketplace. There was a time a few years ago in 2007 when it was really difficult to get financing, very challenging. So what's interesting is I feel like buyers presently are still thinking it was back from those, time, those times three and four and five years ago when it was challenging. So going back to 2007, there were buyers during their escrow period while they're waiting their 30 days to close and get their loan documents that their loan programs, their, their underwriting uh, policies were changing mid, mid escrow. In other words, they might have started off their program needing a 620 FICO score. And during their escrow period, after they locked in their loan and everything, the score went up as a requirement to maybe 680, 660, or their down payment requirement went from 5% to 10% or 10% to 20%. Things were happening so fast and so crazy, and this difficulty in obtaining loans because the banks were scrambling in 2007, I feel, and it seems like buyers in the market presently still think it's tough to obtain financing. This is probably one of the largest misconceptions, that and that our inventory is flush. Our inventory is actually extremely low right now at record level, record low levels, hence the seller's market with buyers pricing. Small amount of properties for sale with a lot of buyers. So the only major hurdle for financing right now is three and a half percent down payment. If you can't come up with a three and a half percent down payment on an FHA loan up to 350k, then so be it. You might not be able to get financing. So we have a couple of minutes, okay? okay? And when we come back, I want to talk further. And I I think it's great, you know, you're asking things like, you know, what's going on in the the investor's market. I know that's going to take a little bit more time, but talk a little bit about that. When we come back, I want to talk further. Go ahead. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, certainly we're seeing many, many types of investment opportunities. People are making a lot of money around us. Um, Our brick and mortar industry, real estate, is actually pretty stable now. And there are some great returns that we'll talk about. We're seeing flips. We're seeing certainly tons of rental opportunities. The dynamic of the renter is changing. In the past, renters would try to sign short-term leases, six months, nine months. That was always a thing. You know, back in college, as a, as a renter, you'd say, oh, I just want to do a six-month lease. And the landlord would try to get you to do a one-year lease. Now, the tenants are saying, can I rent this property for two years, for three years? And we're seeing the renter is renting farther out into the city because they might have had foreclosure, a foreclosure in surprise. 
and they want to stay after their foreclosure, so they're renting in surprise. So here's what we're going to do. We are going to go to a break, and when we come back, I want to talk further about all of this. His number is area code 480-945-SOUL. That's 480-945-7653. The website is 945soul.com. A righty on the left coast. The Lars Larson Show, weeknights at 10 on KFNX. Are you downsizing or do you need extra cash for a special occasion? Biltmore Loan and Jewelry buys or lends immediate cash for all non-real estate valuables, such as jewelry, fine timepieces, artwork, auto titles. Call for a confidential, discreet consultation in our upscale private office. Biltmore Loan and Jewelry, 480-991-LOAN. We know what it's worth. Turn your valuables into cash. Biltmore Loan and Jewelry, 480-991-LOAN. I'm Carol Blonder, the host of Networking Arizona, heard Tuesdays and Fridays from 3 to 5 p.m. right here on KFNX News Talk Radio 1100. Harp 2 is here. Yes, the Home Affordable Refinance Program. So get your applications in early. Let FT Financial get you the low interest rate you deserve. Call 480-970-9499. That's 480-970-9499. And let FT Financial get you the low interest rate you deserve. MB0917708. Have you been wondering whether you should stay or go? Stop wondering and visit stayorgo.co. At the Wells Law Group, we developed this free tool at stayorgo.co to help homeowners find out what their home is worth and how long it will take to regain its lost value. Visit stayorgo.co to use our short sale calculator and receive a free personalized analysis of your mortgage delivered to your inbox today. Stop wondering and visit stayorgo.co. That's stayorgo.co. Stop wondering at stayorgo.co. You live in Arizona, so you know how important it is to protect your skin. Sunscape Fashions accredited umbrellas and sunglasses are 99% UV shade protective. Visit sunscapefashion.com and see why doctors and dermatologists recommend their ultraviolet umbrellas. Everyone should be concerned about what the sun can do to our skin. That's sunscapefashion.com. Protect yourself from the sun. Umbrellas and sunglasses. That's sunscapefashion.com. Check us out on the web at 1100kfnx.com. If a trade in so we were, we're talking right now um, about what's going on in the market today, and you were talking a little bit about the investor, so I want to go back into that real quickly so you can finish up with that, and then let's talk about the market as well, the, what's going on there. So, Certainly. you know, let's talk about what's going on in the, uh, with the investor. Well... Folks are frustrated with trying to figure out where to park their money, getting nominal returns. So there are a lot of opportunities. One of the largest opportunities presently is, once again, before I went to break, is taking advantage of the, the really strong renter pool that is out there. If someone has $100,000 of idle money sitting around, and it doesn't have to be 100 it could be $20,000. And on that $20,000... <laughs> <laughs> I'm just, just kidding. It was funny because, you it know, how many – okay, I know I'm so funny. Go on. Well, it takes money to make money at some, uh -huh. sometimes. But um, $20,000, 20%. There's even some loan programs for investment opportunities where you can put down 10%. But I use 20 just as a, as a simple number for a representation on a $100,000 property. $100,000 property, you might get rent from 1000 to $1,100 a month, and you've outlaid $20,000 – for your down payment, the seller can pay for your closing costs and everything. So on that $20,000, you may make $6,000 in the year on your 20. That's a really high return. Mm -hmm. So for simple math, if you were to purchase five properties, there are some, some loan restrictions that you can maybe only do three or four. But for simple math, if you were to buy five with your $100,000, that's 30000 That's making 30% return on your $100,000, not in, not counting appreciation. This is where and why we've seen so many people buying investment properties and taking advantage of the rental opportunities because there have been obviously a large amount of foreclosures and short sales that now those those former homeowners can't buy for a while, so they have to rent. And when that property that they could have a mortgage payment on for $500, the rent's 1100 or 1000 it's amazing. The spread is amazing. We've never seen this before. So what are you telling people to do? 
Oh, it's a great question. <laughs> uh, if they have idle money, obviously I'm 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 a huge proponent of real estate investing. Um, there are folks that are doing flips. There's the rental scenario. From a flip perspective, if you have good systems, we have a lot. We have crews that that we can line up our clients with and take advantage of the flipping opportunities. We had a client just recently from Australia. Um, he's bought 15, 20 properties with us, but one of his recent properties just a couple weeks ago, he paid 42 and he sold it three weeks later for 81,000. It's almost doubled and maybe he put five or 6,000 into it. It's a great return. Mm-hmm. I have another client that, that they purchased a property for 1.6 million recently. And here a month later, it's on the market for just around 2.4 and it'll probably sell for close to that. Mm-hmm. All right, so again, his number is area code 480-945-SOLD. That's 480-945-7653. Also, you can go to his website, which is 945sold.com. I need to also add that um, for choosing the the right properties, over about four years ago, I came up with some proprietary software that analyzes data and helps us figure out which properties are the best to pick. So some amazing software that I developed, certainly it's not for sale, it's just within our group, but some great software that helps us choose which properties may be best to purchase, whether it's an investment property or for an investment opportunity or second home. So how does that work? Somebody comes in and tells you what their needs are, what they want, how does that work? Uh, well, it, it starts with, is it, an invest, is it an investor or is it their primary home? Let's, let's stick with the investment scenario. Um, the investor tells us what their needs are, what they want, what they're comfortable with. We give them some scenarios, depending on what they may say. And we plug their, their criteria into our software, and it kind of spits out what properties are going to be best for them. And how long will they know that? Like within five minutes? It's pretty quick, yeah. It's pretty quick. So, again, his number is 480-SOLD. That's 4... Uh, no, wait. Four, <laughs> I got five. that wrong. <laughs> 480-945-SOLD. That's 480-945-7653. And the website is 945SOLD.com. You can also uh, Facebook him at uh, ForeclosureKing.com. At, I mean, so Foreclosure King. And then also Twitter at Foreclosure King. So we also, at the break, we we're talking a little bit about you wanted to get out about in the market today and and the co- the cash offers that you get and all of that go ahead well as i said earlier one of the big misconceptions is that it's tough to obtain financing and we as i stated that's not really the case another misconception is that our inventory is huge that there's tons of properties for sale in our peak period we did we had you know, 60, 70,000 properties for sale. Normal for us is maybe 40,000 properties. Presently, throughout all the cities, single family homes, condos, townhomes, there's 20 to 25,000 properties for sale. And really, truly in the core, if you exclude some of the far out cities, there's just like 15, 16,000 properties, 17,000 properties out there. And though we're the fourth or fifth largest city in the country, depending on what studies you look at or what statistics you look, you see, our inventory is so much less than other cities are so much smaller than us. And so what that means is it's kind of a seller's market, as I said earlier, with buyers pricing. There's a lot of properties that get multiple offers. There's properties that are selling really fast. Nearly 50% of the offers are cash. Um, the financed offers, because of the cash scenario, does make it tough for them to compete. It kind of reminds me, the market presently reminds me of 2005 all over again except the pricing is about half. It's competitive. It's very competitive. You do need strong representation, someone with a good name like us. Now, um, also one of the things that you have down here too is that you were saying that you've heard of, there's a lot of people that they're saying that there's um, going to be a wave of foreclosures that are hitting the market, aren't they, already? I mean, when you <laughs> ask this question, I'm looking at it going, well, duh. <laughs> yeah, it, the infamous wave of foreclosures that we've been hearing about for two to three years. It's something we battle daily. I, I personally, we personally, we really don't see it. We see in other markets, and, and what happens is the, the local media will spit out information that is maybe from a national perspective, but our market is not the national market. If you're looking at gold and silver, that's different than other markets. So, our market is different than other markets. We are not Michigan, Ohio, Pennsylvania, where 
who wants to buy there? Who can buy there? They went through foreclosures and they've been going through short sales, but they've been going through foreclosures because of job loss. People went from working overtime to regular time to part time to laid off. We haven't had death on the streets with unemployment like crazy here. Our foreclosures are because people maybe maybe fiscally it just doesn't make sense to to keep your property up when it was five hundred thousand and now it's presently worth two fifty. So anyway, that being said, we're seeing a lot of people coming from other states, as I said earlier, and Canada, they're just gobbling up all of our all of our properties. So we're a destination city. The banks aren't foreclosing and then just holding on to properties. We see foreclosures. We might see a foreclosure happen today, comes back on the market. It might be back on the market in two to four weeks. It's not getting demolished. It's not sitting around for two years. We're not seeing that in any widespread level. We just don't see this big wave of properties coming, the market actually has been pretty stable. Now, when you were talking um, earlier and you were saying how the uh, these people, the foreclosure, they haven't, um, these people haven't dealt with, um, you, I don't know, I guess you said something about it being uh, not worth it to stay. Correct. So they go. But the, the question that I have to ask you is, what about all the people that have that can't afford? Why wouldn't they just pay their their um, their mortgage? Why would they want to uh, foreclose? Why would they want to yeah. foreclose? Well, hopefully, most people, if they're in a bet, well, because a lot of people have lost their jobs, a lot, and a lot of people would right. disagree with you. That's why I'm, I'm that's saying okay. that's a little bit on the controversial side, Absolutely. and that's why I'm asking that. Absolutely. Well, hopefully, they if they lost their job and they cannot make their payment then they will try to do a short sale. Mm -hmm. And that's always really the preface is short sales, unsuccessful short sales may lead to foreclosures. So we're seeing less and less foreclosures because we're seeing more and more successful short sales. Three, four years ago, the banks were having a really, really tough time getting to an approval process on their short sale situations. So what are your final words, because we only have about a minute left, for the, for the audience? What do you want them to know and why they should come to you? Because we believe in sound buying. We believe, once again, in logical buying. We believe that there's a lot of opportunity in the investment market, and we have some, some really great software to help people figure it out. We listen. We're solid. We have a great reputation, and we have a 30-day offer guarantee on our short sale listings. Say that one more time. I want them to hear that. <laughs> We have a 30-day offer guarantee on our short sale listings. All right. So the number to call him is area code 480-945-SOLD. That's 480-945-7653. And you can also go to the website, which is 945sold.com. You can also Facebook him at foreclosure.